Well, airport, there you go. Well, you know, California is known for its agriculture and fresh produce. Your produce man Michael Marks is live in Irvine. Yes, all the way in Southern California, checking out a farmer's market to see what's new. What brings you out that way? Well, I'm at the Orange County Fair uh, right now, uh, this weekend. I'm emceeing some of their food events. Okay. Uh, so here are a whole bunch of berries. So can you find the gooseberries in here? Goose Which the yellow ones, ones is it the yellow are the gooseberries yeah. in here? We say the yellow ones. The yellow ones. There you go. Yay. You know your gooseberries. So make some gooseberry jelly gooseberry. or gooseberry jam. Uh, look at all these gorgeous berries. I'm proud of you guys. Hey, come on over here. I want to show you something. Uh, somebody took a crayon to the uh, to the cauliflower. Wow. Uh, look at the absolutely gorgeous orange cauliflower. Oh. They actually found this originally in upstate New York. Uh, a cauliflower far, uh, cauliflower professor from New York uh, uh, University was out walking cauliflower fields, and he noticed one of the cauliflowers had this orange tint to it. So he grabbed it and he started hybriding it. Uh, look at the Romanesco, absolutely gorgeous. Purple cauliflower uh, and of course regular white cauliflower. Look at the scallop uh, squash. Absolutely, this is called a sunburst. And you know why they call it a sunburst? Because it kind of looks like the sun and it's bursting. Look at the gorgeous, oh my goodness, Ooh, uh, beautiful asparagus. Come look at the colored uh, bell peppers, all kinds of different colors. But what I wanted to show you, come right on over here. Beautiful heirloom tomatoes. Look at these gorgeous heirloom tomatoes. Now, mm. oh, here's a purple Cherokee. Uh, this was actually given uh, to Thomas Jefferson as a gift from the Cherokee Nation. And many of these heirloom tomatoes date back to the czars of Russia. Uh, they date back to Thomas Jefferson. Uh, many of these old, old varieties. They're so good. A couple things about these, number one, they're very, very heavy. Uh, and because they are so heavy, uh, don't stack them up a lot, uh, especially on your counter. Don't put them in a bowl. I usually, uh, on my counter, single file in a bowl. I never uh, stack them up, but absolutely gorgeous. Uh, come right on over here. Some of the best green beans I've seen in a long time. Now, by the way, when I pick out green beans, here's what I do. I will grab a plastic bag. I will put my hand in the plastic bag, yeah. and I will push down on the green beans. Why? Ah, uh, you can't hear it, but I hear it. it's squeaking. Oh. A squeaking green bean is a very fresh green bean. Hey, hey oh. back to you. I have so much more to show you coming up. Oh, hey, those are good tips, Michael. Mm. Wow.